one thing I really appreciate in Chris's writing is the frequent uh, references to the prison. I was reading the, the conversation with uh, Robert Talbot, and uh, you, you talk a lot about the prisons you mentioned today, it's in this book, and just having worked with that population and just being friends, because a lot of that population are from neighborhoods I formerly resided in, uh, and just seeing, I, I would say that they've tapped into something in my immediate context because I, I, I used to go in as a, as a Muslim chaplain and teacher. It was the Muslim community amongst the incarcerated individuals. I, I would say that uh, they, their uh, resistance is more than a moral act. I would say their resistance is something that restores their humanity. Yeah. I've seen dehumanized human beings who would kill you with the uh, callousness of stomping on a roach. I've seen individuals that, uh, that lived a degree higher than the misogyny that one might listen to as entertainment in a gangster rap, or even now it's beyond gangster rap, in just some sort of musical uh, recording transformed into human beings who wouldn't unjustly hurt a fly, transformed into human beings that would give their life, and once they were released, to hold a family together. These are people who would tear a family apart with impunity through adultery, through murder, through selling drugs to children, transformed into people that would give their life for their family. So when, when I witness that firsthand up close in human beings that I've seen go from this spectrum of dehumanized to rehumanized, then that gives me tremendous hope because if they can do it, anybody can do it. Mm -hmm.